Today we're going to be taking just these little wooden coasters, okay? And we're going to be using some really pretty papers. I'm going to go ahead and pull you down. Now I've shown these papers plenty of times, but y'all, they are gold. This is why I love them so much. They are gilded with gold. So see how pretty that is? I love gold leaf, but as you know, it can be messy. And so this just, um, you don't have to fool with it. You just use the beautiful papers. Okay, so I thought I would use this. Uh, these little polka dots, they to me look a little um, anthropology-ish. <laughs> I don't wanna say anthropologist, anthropology-ish is what they look like to me. So I'm gonna go with those. So what we're gonna do first, real quickly, I'm gonna paint them with, let's see, I'm gonna use, yeah, White Swan. So this is a clay-based chalk style paint, it's DIY. Um, of course you can use any paint for this. You know, give yourself a little excess because there's usually a little white uh, trim on these. You can mark them with a pen, you can um, cut them with a facto knife. So we got that done. So now I am taking, let me just go into this. I am going to be using Pink Couture's Decoupage Medium Matte. I'm going to see how that does. All right, so I'm gonna just put the decoupage medium on my piece here. I'm gonna put it on the sides. So I think I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, do one at a time in case this stuff is drying. Let's see. Honestly, I like putting this on the back as well. It, this is a, um, a rice paper, so it's, it's a little bit thicker than most. What do y'all do? What do y'all think? I, I usually like to put it on the paper and the surface just because it is a little bit thicker. Another reason I love this paper, maybe any rice papers, uh -oh, that's not straight y'all, um, it's because it doesn't wrinkle doesn't wrinkle. So you kind of want to cut it a little bit so you can get it on that uh, corner good. So let's do this again. this nice and dry and then I want to um I don't have to do that here though as far as the sides but I usually sand my edges off I'll just take a little sheet of paper I'll see this side's a little dry and I just kind of lightly sand right on the edge but you know make sure it's dry y'all if not it will tear okay so I will do that and just kind of tear off See like that? See like how that's separating like this? And it comes off like that. So let it dry, get it good and dry. Okay, so I've got these transfers. There is a ton of little, um, look here's something, little buds. Here's one. This is the Redout 2, and I have never seen a transfer set with so much in it. Let's see what else. Let's 
see, and, the, and oh my gosh, so many little pieces I've already cut out. Here's another one. But let's see if this is dry enough to put a transfer on. But isn't that pretty with the um, the gold? Okay, I think I like the smaller pieces. If I did this, I would come off. And you can always kind of take it off the side and kind of look at it a little bit. Like, how would that look? Hope it's dry enough. If not, I'll maybe tear my paper up. I always say, you know, this does never tears up your surface, but <laughs> if you have paper that's not dry, it just might. Um, so let's just go a little lightly. Okay, well that came off great, y'all. Love it, love it, love it. And just how pretty is that gonna be when it's crystal clear with resin on top. Yeah. Whenever you resin, it's really important to get your things uh, level. I use a level. I just put my little thing up here just to check to see if it was level. Okay, so I'm gonna add my resin in this cup. Okay, this is my it's a little silicone cup and I've got some epoxy resin here. This is the Amy Howard brand. And there's a part A and a part B. Y'all probably seen me do this tons of times. But it's always good to remember. Okay, so I'm gonna um, put my part A in here. I'm gonna do four and a half. So that's gonna be two and one fourth and two and one fourth. So you're gonna put the same amount of part A and then the same amount of part B. It's it's by volume, not weight. Okay, so that's important. All right, I think that's even. Now, one thing I would do differently is I would not tape them. I had these already taped because we were gonna do, um, and I haven't even been counting for this, y'all. You're supposed to stir for like about three minutes, scraping the sides and the bottom. Um, but I had these taped because uh, we were doing um, ocean resin waves in the Creative Junkies group, which is my monthly membership. And I already had them taped. And I knew I was gonna resin these, but the paper kinda got in the way, or the tape kinda got in the way of my paper, uh, you know, because it, it wasn't always right on the edge. So. Now, if you stir longer than three minutes, it's, it's, not, it's not like you're gonna ruin anything. But you wanna, you wanna do it at least three minutes, so. You do, it gets clear, so you do wanna keep stirring until, um, you know, it's clear. I think it's been three minutes. Let's just get going. Now, you can, and, and I just, I didn't even think about doing it. But you can seal these with a polycrylic first. Uh, sometimes, you know, they say, and they, and when I say they, I mean the resin experts, it's really best to seal it with polycrylic before. Now, this self levels, so you don't have to get it, you know, totally all smoothed out. But that's another reason why you want it level, so that um, it doesn't just all pour out to one side. And I'll just go ahead and pour a little time. I'll try not to do too much. I'll hold that up a little bit. Okay, so that was that. Let me 
show those up to you again. Really pretty. And oh, so what we need to do now real quick, is there are bubbles in it. I don't know if y'all can see the bubbles, but. Let's see what my heat gun does. Let me see which one's better. I always hear that the. Yeah, this thing, this one, maybe I just didn't have it up high enough, but this one's popping them. All right. All right, guys, that's it. So I hope you'll have a great rest of your evening.